Hello, I don't know if anybody remembers me doing a video about Star Trek Judgment Rights. I took this game and I installed it into DBGL Launcher for DOSBox. And it's a great launcher and I swear by it, but lately I've been getting more into this thing called DOSBox Pure. Today I want to show you how to take the Star Control 3 ISO, install it into DOSBox Pure, and you're going to run everything from one zip file. All the installed files, including the ISO, are all inside the same zip file. This is a truly remarkable RetroArch core. Okay, let's get started. You see my Star Control 3 ISOs over here. I'm going to need that in just a minute. I'm going to go ahead and launch RetroArch. For anyone who doesn't know, what you do with DOSBox Pure is you just launch something from a zip generally. Okay, excuse me, I was just having a moment there. Alright, trying to get out of this. Ah. Not only does DOSBox Pure run all of its games from individual zips, anytime you run a game and you install files or if you make save files, it all installs into one zip. So, looking inside this zip, I'm going to see these are all the files inside the regular Drive C install folder from this game. But you don't want to keep it in this format. Because then what you're going to be doing is you're just going to be running the ISO in RetroArch, but it's going to have to refer to the save folder. It's going to have to refer to the save folder for everything else. You want to make this a lot cleaner. So this is what we're going to do. Okay, really simple. Take this file, drag it to the desktop. I'm going to minimize this and get it out of my face for now. It should just take a second to extract. Okay, so this folder has all the files in it. I'm going to go ahead and drop this ISO in it. Now, I'm going to say DOSBox Pure by default. Anything it has with an ISO extension is going to be mounted as Drive D. Some DOS games require their extra files to be mounted on a CD, and this is one of them. Star Control 3 is definitely one of them. Uh, some DOS games need their files to be mounted on a floppy disk so for that you're going to want an IMG extension not an ISO so that's very important and you can just label it floppy.img or cd.iso it doesn't really matter it goes by the extension more or less DOSBox Pure only supports zip and not 7-zip format so for this we're going to be using a zip format only PZIP always has a link directly to the desktop and I love this program and I'm addicted to it so I'm just going to use this. All I have to do is click add, zip format and ultra level compression. It's going to take a bit longer to archive this than it would a 7-zip so I'm going to go ahead and pause it here. Okay that took about 10 minutes to make the zip I think. I was busy watching Mystery Science Theater so I kind of zoned out. Uh, I went ahead and put this zip file in my regular folder that I'm going to load it from and all you see when you should look in here is the installed files plus the ISO file and it's just automatically going to mount that as drive D in a second. I need to set the start folder in RetroArch. Okay, this should take a few more seconds to load this time. Okay, I just want to take a second and point out here. 
you do have to pay attention to your architecture that you're using for DOSBox if you want to be able to make sure the game is going to run right. Like, you want to go to Performance Options and check this under Emulated Performance. The thing I use the most out of any of these is 486DX2, 66 megahertz. It runs a lot of things great, but it's not going to run everything great. Say I want to run the game CD Man. That game requires something that's like an 8088 or a 286, and if you don't change it, it's going to run super fast and it's not going to run correctly. And so if, if a game was more like a game that would run on an 8088, you're going to want to slow down your CPU cycles quite a bit. But for this, I'm using a DX2, and then under Audio Options, I made sure I set Sound Blaster Type to Sound Blaster Pro. I normally keep Gravis Ultrasound off, but I don't think it hurts anything to keep both of them on at the same time. And I do use Gravis Ultrasound for some games. Okay, I had to cut the rest of the video off because it's pretty much just me drinking and talking to aliens. I want to show really quick, this is what happens when you save a DOS game in DOSBox Pure. You're going to have a zip file. If you had a folder inside the zip file, it's going to be present in the save as well. And you're going to look in here and you're just going to see everything it's saved. I'm still blown away by the fact that DOSBox Pure saves everything in zip files, which makes it a lot more organized anyways. Uh, anyway, that's pretty much it. That's, that's mostly what goes into it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. But uh, I'm going to end this one here. If you feel like watching on, I'm going to throw a couple of minutes of me talking to Nifawan on there. But I like Fwifo more than Nifawan. That's just my opinion. But I like Star Control 2 in general a heck of a lot more than Star Control 3. Anyway, thanks for watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Ooh, is it that wakes me from my safe and happy sleep at this time of our new solar cycle. This is especially rude since my physical system is not yet adjusted to the new day length. Yay! A vast menacing ship pops out the sun and threatens to rain down radioactive death upon us! Oh no! Compounding my fright is the hideous bloated green monster that looms before me on the view screen! Our end is at hand. We surrender, O oh merciful evil alien. I, Nifawan, regent of the ruling council of the Spathy colonists, officially surrender. We will reveal all League secrets to you and give you all our storehouse of minerals. Would you like to know the weaknesses of the captain of the League? He is a megalomaniacal tyrant. But a softy for polite rules of colonization. He's a sucker about forgiving his allies for any sort of indiscretion. Now please don't... Wait. Echo. Who has been fiddling with the color and contrast controls of my view screen? This is the second time this week. Yikes! It is the Hunan captain of the League of Sentient Races. I didn't mean it, captain. Please, don't smack me! I have a low pain threshold. I have a rare disease that makes oh, my oof. soft flesh bruise easily. I could easily expire from even a small tap. And then who would feed my thousand encrustlings? I was not really going to surrender. It was a roof. A roof designed to lull the foe into a false sense of security until we could plan a daring and ultimately suicidal mission in which we would all die in agony before we would reveal a word of League secrets!